Hey, you wonderful people. My name's Clayton, and today we're going to talk about how to obtain cannabis legally in Canada. Now, there's a lot of debate going around this particular subject, so we're going to follow through Health Canada's website together on how to obtain cannabis for medical purposes. But first, a quick history lesson. In July 2001, Canada enacted the Medical Marijuana Access Regulations, or MMAR. This allowed Canadians to purchase their medication from producers who were licensed and regulated by Health Canada. This also allowed patients the ability to apply to grow their own medication. But then, in July 2013, Canada enacted the Marijuana for Medical Purposes Regulations, or MMPR. The main difference between the two was that patients were no longer longer able to apply to grow their own medicine, they could only purchase it from licensed producers. That didn't last long. In February 2015, there was a constitutional challenge from Canadian cannabis patients arguing that disallowing them to grow their own medication is unconstitutional. And long story short, in August 2016, Canada enacted the Access to Cannabis for Medical Purposes Regulations, or ACMPR. Still in effect today, the ACMPR allows patients to, again, apply to grow their own medication, as well as purchase from a licensed producer. Growing your own does come with some stipulations, though. You must have a prescription, you must mail in your original application along with your prescription, and there are limits on how much you can grow based on the size of your prescription and whether your grow is inside or out. And that brings us to present day. So let's get started. Step one, consult with a healthcare practitioner. Honestly, this could be the hardest part. Not all doctors are comfortable with talking about cannabis and not all of them are comfortable with prescribing it either. Maybe they should check out my YouTube channel. Talk to your family doctor first. Mention you'd like to try medical cannabis and why you believe it would help with your symptoms. And if your primary healthcare practitioner isn't comfortable prescribing cannabis, there are many self-referral cannabis clinics all across Canada. It's as easy as just a quick Google search for cannabis clinics in my city. That brings us into step two. Obtain a medical document completed by your healthcare practitioner. This part's pretty self-explanatory get your prescription. Some of the most common ailments patients use cannabis for are chronic pain, anxiety, depression, insomnia, ADD, but the list of what cannabis may help with is quite extensive. Always bring a copy of any prescription medications you're currently taking. As well, some clinics may require you to have another doctor's referral supporting your diagnosis. Step three, register with a licensed producer. Now, this process is gonna be a little bit different with each clinic you go to. Some clinics will give you the physical copy of your prescription, leaving you to research, choose, register with, and send your medical document to the licensed producer of your choice. However, most clinics don't allow patients to have copies of their prescriptions, because then a patient is able to send their prescription to multiple licensed producers. This could lead to having access to more medication than your allotted amount, and that could lead to the clinic and doctor getting into a lot of trouble. With that being said, some clinics do provide some education and help you choose a licensed producer that best suits your needs, while other clinics have special relationships with certain licensed producers and tend to recommend specific ones. However, keep in mind that as a patient, you're able to go with any licensed producer you want to, as long as they're accepting patients. So make sure to do some research before your appointment. That brings us into Health Canada's final step. Step four, delivery of your cannabis for medical purposes. This part's pretty simple. When placing an order for your medication, you do so online. The licensed producer then sends it right to your door through the mail, which generally arrives in one to five business days, depending on your licensed producer. I'm also gonna to touch on this part. Neither the ACMPR nor any other Health Canada regulations authorize licensed producers to provide cannabis for medical purposes through a storefront. This means the cannabis found in dispensaries have not been obtained through licensed producers, which means it hasn't followed the testing regulations and guidelines set out by Health Canada. So make sure you know what you're medicating with. Well, that's all four steps. It wasn't too difficult, right? Have you been to a cannabis clinic in Canada? 
If so, let me know where and how your experience was in the comments below. And as always, if you learned something, make sure to like and share this video for everyone to see. On Thursday's video, we're going to go into a little bit more detail about licensed producers and give you some recommendations on how to choose one that best works for you. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell beside it to be notified when the video is up. And if you haven't seen any of the other videos on my channel, this would be a good time to check them out too. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.